Mary Winton Calkins was a very influential American psychologist who also made many breakthroughs for women during her time. Mary Calkins was born in 1863 and became the oldest of five children. She grew up for the majority of her childhood in Buffalo, New York. There, her father, Wilcock Calkins, served as a Protestant minister. Then, in 1881, her family moved to Newton, Massachusetts, where she completed her high school diploma and went on to attend Smith College. Mary Calkins graduated in the year of 1883 from Smith College with a bachelor's degree in philosophy. The year following her graduation, she went on a year-long trip to Europe with her family. During this time overseas, she studied Greek language and culture. When Mary Calkins returned to the States in 1887, she began teaching as a Greek tutor at Wesley College. A little after a year of Calkins holding this position, college officials for Wesley began searching for women to teach what is known as experimental psychology today. Experimental psychology looks at the relationship between behavior and mind. Mary Calkins, however, did not have any background in experimental psychology to teach the subject. Although the college still appointed her the position as long as she studied experimental psychology for at least a year. However, at the time, coeducation was very controversial and all of the surrounding institutions did not accept female graduate students. Despite this obstacle, Mary Calkins, along with three others, including her father, talked the president of Harvard, Charles Elliott at the time, into allowing her to attend graduate seminars. Elliott stipulated, though, that she not be officially enrolled at the school, which later led to her not being able to receive her PhD, despite the fact that she earned it. Following Mary Calkin's studies at Harvard, in 1891, she returned to Wesley, where she introduced experimental psychology to their curriculum. During this time, she still continued her education at Harvard as a non-traditional student. Between the years of 1894 and 1895, Calkins made the swift decision to take academic leave and focus on laboratory work with Hugo Munsterberg. Munsterberg was an American German psychologist. Together, the two worked in his laboratory, and Mary Calkins developed much of her own research. During this time, she developed original research on the factors influencing memory. While she completed this research, she invented paired associative technique. This technique involves the pairing of two items, a stimulus and a response. Calkins would test this technique by showing subjects a series of colors paired with numbers. Then, later, the subjects were shown the colors alone and asked to recall the corresponding number. Following her gap year, she went back to teaching and continued teaching till a year before her death, retiring in the year of 1929. During her many years of teaching, she found an intense interest in self-psychology publishing four books and several journal articles on the topic. Due to Mary Calkins' research on self-psychology, she achieved one of the biggest accomplishments of becoming the first female president of the American Psychology Association. Calkins died in the year of 1930 at the age of 67, but her findings and accomplishments are still praised today.